Pop Locks 4583 in the SSB. What's up, everybody? It's Cody from Pop Locks 4583 coming to you with another segment of the Salty Sea Beaver and another unboxing. Again, this is something I got from myself, something I got off of eBay. Um, and I'm going to explain a couple of things here. It'll, it'll all make sense. Um, <clears throat> by the way, this is the card that I put in my mailbox whenever I send something out. That way they know pick up my packages because they usually don't fit in my mailbox so sergeant soldier you got something coming so all right sea beaver's pretty uh pretty busy tonight give you the rundown here quick sarge didn't have time to change from his last mission and he wanted to stop in and get a coffee uh, we got shirley here tonight she's one of my sharpshooters She's a really cool figure. She's pretty neat because she's she's taller than most most female figures. And uh, we got this this these pair of strangers that came in tonight. Not sure what's going on there. And I have another figure from Sergeant Soldier. It's kind enough to send me this. And I'm kind of working on something with Peter. So the cool thing is. A couple of us, of us are 3D printing now, so we started sharing files. And uh, Sergeant Soldier, I actually sent you a couple of files on the flash drive that you sent me, so keep your eyes open for that. Let's see if we can get everything in here. And this is for Adam. He pointed that out last video. All right. Here we go. Something I picked up. I made the guy an offer and he took it. So I bought a couple things off of him. Hands aren't working tonight. Let's get that away. Yeah. I always forget to turn the lights on. What the hell kind of bar are we running here? All right. Let's get everything out. This is my haul. <clears throat> a damn toys rifle bag. Very cool. Love this stuff so much. Looks like it's been sitting for a little bit, little while. Everything usually, all the zippers usually work. Pouches on the side, the Velcro, all the little zippers. Very cool. Had to have it. Got a good price on it. Um, this guy had a lot of. Uh, this guy had all this stuff listed. I made him an offer for all of it, and he took it. Um, so basically, his collection from his collection to mine. I like buying stuff like this because I like to see how they made it. Um, and then to be honest, I, I try to reverse engineer it. Some of it. Um, some of this stuff, I just, I don't understand how they make it. It's, they have a hell of a lot of talent. I can give them that. But, so that's that. Here is a 
AK-47. And I believe this is a damn toys unit. At least that's how it was listed. Got the collapsible stock. It's missing a magazine, but that's all right. I have plenty lying around. Um, I wanted one a little bit more detailed than the 21st century toys. Because I'm going to make a custom one for myself. So that's what's going to happen with that. I'm going to use my weapon mods and modify it. that we'll lay that up on the bar hopefully nobody gets shot we'll put that air towards sarge in case anybody gets frisky and then you also had the shotgun which is damn toys Very cool. These shells probably come out if I try, unless you glue them in. But I don't want to break it. Very cool weapon. Had to have it. Made him an offer. He took it. I'm probably going to put like a lanyard or something on it. There's that. And he had a set of damn hands, damn toys hands. I got a, a bear set, and a glove set. I actually already have these gloves, and I probably have these hands too. Um, I buy these every time I see them if they're a good price, just because I like the pegs. Um, Sometimes when my son's playing with them, he, he breaks them a good bit. But these are the Gint. This body is, is damn toys, and so are the hands. But this line is called Gangster's Kingdom. Um, the Gangster Kingdom hand pegs are a little bit different than some of the other ones. They have like that... That that full peg in the middle the other ones are kind of like split kind of funky and they break a lot these hands are actually these pegs are pretty durable so if you're searching for these pegs search um gangsters gangsters kingdom um that was that line of damn toys so these will just pop in This is a damn toys body, Gangster's Kingdom. I really like the damn toys bodies um, because their, their articulation is, is really good. It's all double jointed. And I like them because their hands are like that. It makes them really easy to, to change all their uniforms and stuff like that. But, I mean, they're shoulder shrug this one feels like it needs flipped around so these bodies are really cool um the couple that i've had i've only had two of these gangsters kingdom bodies but i know sarge's body has a lot of problem with these pegs here in the middle they break but this is kind of a different setup so we'll have to see how long these last I don't have it out yes, I do. but with another thing with 3d printing is 
I designed the the peg that breaks all the time. So if any of you guys get a damn toy's body and the legs break, the Axis of Awesome have got you covered. There's that. So back to this body. Um, I don't have one out, but I made an adapter for this head style, this ball. And that is what this body is. This is the exact same body with a vintage head. Um, you can see it in there. I should have probably took a shirt off, but that would look weird in the bar. But I uh, made an adapter that'll accept the vintage head. Gotta get set up here. This guy's a little protective of his friend here. Don't, not really sure what's going on with that yet, but. I made an adapter that'll pop right on that right on that ball and then it'll accept the vintage head. I wanted to have one printed out for you, but I kind of ran out of time and I wanted to open this stuff and get a video out. Um, I basically took some dimensions off of this, measured what I thought the head would be to have a nice neck length. Um, and designed it that it would pop on there and accept the vintage head. Um, it's kind of hard to see with the coat on. Here's here's a perfect example of the hands and how they're awesome. Just pop them out. Here's the shirt that I got with the last weapon set. Um, don't really like how they do the collars right there. They kind of fold it over weird. So I have a hard time with the shirts and stuff from other companies because I make them myself. But I like to get this kind of stuff to kind of see how other people make it. But, so I think it came out pretty good. I don't, I can't tell if it's the shirt that makes it look funky. Or it kind of looks like his neck is kind of shriveled up. Like he hurt his neck or something. Uh, let me, let me know what you guys think. I think I need to make it, man, like, like two or three millimeters. Just above the neckline. But I don't know if it's the body, because the, the shoulder shrug like that. Something about it just looks kind of weird. But, um, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I think it's partially because of the, the design of the body and the shirt. But his head might need to come up a little bit. But I think it kind of looks like he's, it almost kind of looks like he's injured or something. Or he had like a neck injury before. So that's my kind of ramble for the night. Like I said, I think these uh, I think these segments are kind of going to be just kind of showcasing what I've got going on. Some of my customs, kind of a ramble session, um, a little bit of odds and ends. So yeah, so thanks a lot for tuning in and um, stay tuned with these. I'm gonna I, Peter and I were talking about making a leg harness for it, so. I'm gonna need to take a look at it. I thought about, I don't know if I wanna make the harnesses attach to the rocket pack. Maybe make like a, a paper pattern that would send along, I'd tell you where to drill the holes and stuff, but I don't know. I almost think, Peter, if you're watching this, I almost think that we're gonna have to go into Tinkercad 
and maybe put some studs or something on this to accept the harness or or you might not even need one you know it kind of just snaps on there and uh but i figured i'd try to make one or two and see what they turn out like um it'd be cool to bring back that parachute like that that x and then have two leg loops or something because if you think about it if you had a rocket pack on it would just shoot right off the back so you almost need to have a leg harness but that guy's checking that out he might be my test pilot i'm not sure yet so that's kind of a showcase of some of the stuff i got um i thought the rifle bag was really cool i had to have that basically just i just honestly just wanted to see how it was made could probably get everything in there if i wanted to um this ak i'm going to make a custom for sarge and the crew i'm probably you guys probably think i'm crazy if i'm going to cut all this stuff off but i'm probably going to just because i don't care and this shotgun was just totally badass i just had to have it so that might go with him what do you think that that suit that guy hide it underneath his jacket so i bought another one of these bodies um gonna try to refine my adapter you can usually pick these up pretty cheap um like i think i got this one for uh i think it was under 10 bucks you know so they're out there you just gotta keep your eyes open um if we can come up with an adapter man you can just plug it right on and you're good to go you got a super articulated body accepts all the damn toys hands i mean that's pretty pretty good not many bodies can cross their arms that's like the uh that's like the action figure test in my book so if they can cross their arms it's a super articulated so all right thanks for joining me until the next one thanks